Okay, I'm going to record this video. Uh, this is pers this is basically just for my use, but might help others. Um, I'm going to be using this as a point of reference for myself if I ever need to do the repair in the future or if I ever need to research it further. Uh, I've been having issues with the airbag warning light on my car. It's basically because the factory connect had the issue. Uh, I did actually solder this about three years ago when I first bought the car, but eventually over time it started failing. And what's happening? It was saying the door. Con it was in the airbag pressure sensor in the door which is uh, code G179 it was coming up saying that there was an intermittent connection basically what it was is the power had gone in the connector on the door so I've purchased a repair kit and fitted and it's fixed my car so now I'm just doing a follow up on my website in this uh, this is the factory connector which I've removed cut the wires because obviously I've done a quick post um, related to this video and what I've done, these terminals here are numbered 1 to 20. Just for reference, this earth terminal here on the right, that's pin 1. And then this one here on the top left, the red and green wire, is pin 11. It goes 1 to 10 on the right hand side. So you've got right hand side, and then you have pin 1 here and pin 10 at the bottom right. And then this one here is pin 20. Now, just for reference, this is the document exploded up so this is the connector as it is like this so this is the fr this is the part that pushes in the car and this is the part which obviously is a picture of the diagram and as you can see here what i've done is i've labeled the connections so you have top right which is your earth top right which is your brown wire so this one here is your earth brown and red from what i can wear out looks to be a front door speaker i'm not 100 sure if it's negative or positive because it seems to be pointing to a loudspeaker on the wiring diagrams but um there's two different connections so I'm, it's just more of a point of reference really if you've got speaker problems uh orange and green is your door contact switch which is more your central locking uh, it connects the cambos high from what i can see as well yellow and black which are the important ones which are these two here that one there and i can't see i'm looking for the camera here so these two here are the airbag connector which is built in the door g179 be a bit clearer on my website because there'll be photos but these two here is the ones what was causing the connection issues they were actually fine but it's basically because they get power in ground as well so obviously if the wire if your door's got problems then that's it but what i did when i did the repair is i connected a multimeter to these points on this on the front with some sharp probes and then obviously with the connector disconnected on the G179 sensor, I made sure there was continuity just to make sure that everything was working. So that was alright, and obviously I was confident in the wiring. Then what you also have is, so that's your airbag ones. These bottom ones here, they're just basically connected to your interior dazzle mirror, so don't really give a shit. Uh, top left up here, that's your power. That's your main power wire. Obviously these are 2.5 gauge. These are 1.5 gauge, I think, and the rest of them are all 035 millimeters squared. Um, well not gauge, sorry, 1.5mm squared, so 2.5mm squared, 1.5mm squared, 0.35mm squared. Um, that one, best that can work out, the red and yellow wire, is the window regulator, this one here. Not 100% sure, but I believe it's the window regulator, because it talks about being connected to a fuse. Um, this one, I have absolutely zero idea, it's a black wire, I'm not really sure what that one does. Um, I can't find on the wiring diagrams here. Again, this one's your yeah, dazzle mirror, and this one is your door contact switch for your central lock, and again, connects to Cambo Slow. So, just a bit of a thing, I'm going to upload this to my website as well. Um, the reason why it's low quality is because I've had issues with people steering content from my website and reposting it on forums, but obviously they didn't credit me as the original source, which personally irritates the shit out of us, because obviously it's how I work on my website. Um... It's how I build up traffic, but when people steal it and say it's their own or don't bother credit, and it kind of disheartens you to do these repairs because they're you're wasting your time basically trying to help people out. Um, so yeah, that's what their connector looks like there. Um, for, if you need to use this, feel free. Obviously, it'd be better if you credit us, but I'm going to post a picture of a low resolution picture of this on my website as well. And then obviously, that's what the connector looks like if you need to de pin it. It's basically just put a, put a uh, thin screwdriver in this bit, prise this purple bit out, and then the entire thing pulls out, and then you can just remove the connectors from the back, and then you've got a spare connector if you never need one. In terms of removing it from the door, 
uh, you basically just push in this connector here, push it all the way in and it just slides out the door. So that's the video.